Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to import any of the 3D LEGO models into iCron 7.9. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. First, you can just scroll down, go to my video description, go and download the, the LeoCAD. I already provide you the download link there. Just go and click and download the LeoCAD installer and install the LeoCAD in your computer. LeoCAD is a LEGO 3D modeling software. Next, you can just go to go into the second link, more LEGO 3D models to download. More LEGO 3D models here. Just go and click the second link and it will lead you to a website for you to download any of the 3D models of LEGO. So now I'm going to this website. And here, just scroll down, refresh it. Now, you can search any of the LEGO 3D model here or you can just click into that. For example, Pizza Go, Pizza to Go. <coughs> here, I can just click download. Once I click download, it will download it as MPD file. Click here, show in folder. This is the MPD file. Next, you can open the LeoCAD. And then drag the MPD file into LeoCAD. Now you can see this is really the, the Lego 3D model. Some more you can just modify any of the color. You can create any of the Lego 3D model here. Rebuild any of the model. And here, of course, this is a 3D modeling tool. You can just rotate it and just relocate it to build your own 3D model. Now. All right, now you can see I already <coughs> add some modification here. And next, I will just save it. All right, now I close this. I close the browser. As demo, I will just save it on my desktop. Click file, save as, save as an MPD file again so that later you can edit it again. The pizza to go, save it. Next time, the MPD file, you still can add it here. But now, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to import all of this LEGO 3D model into iClone 7.9. So now, at here, I click File, Export. Export it as a wavefront. It will export it as OBJ file. I will export it on my desktop as OBJ file. Now. Just wait for a while now. It is exporting and this is the, the OBJ file. If I double click it, it will open by using the 3D viewer. But here, of course, you, you can't see any of the color yet. <coughs> so now you open your iClone 7, 7.9, drag in the OBJ file. <coughs> now you can see this object contains 168 meshes and would really you like to break up the meshes into sub -prop. Here you can choose yes, it doesn't matter. Now you check again, go to the scene. You can see this is a, a prop with all the pieces still available. You click, you click it first and then the rotation. Rotate here, you can put 270 and press enter. Now, Next, you, you just click Reset Transform and now this LEGO 3D model already in your iCron 7. And now you still can move, move any of the parts. You can see, it is still have the freedom to move anything. Right. Now all these LEGO 3D models already in your iCron 7.9 3D animation software. Now you can save it as a prop as well. It is here, click Click here, this is everything. Next, go to the content, go to here, go to the custom and go to the prop. Here you can just click plus and now you save it as a custom prop. Now, this one, you drag it, you can use it anytime. It is a prop.
Now you can see this prop is already here. All right. That's all for today about how to import any of the Lego 3D model, whether your own creation or any of the existing Lego 3D model into your Icron 7.9. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you will receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy, happy animation and game developing. See you.